Intro Japanese souffle pancakes. <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> what am I saying? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome to Level Up Cooking. And today we are going to make Japanese souffle pancakes. <laughs> The other day I attempted to make Japanese souffle pancakes and um, it didn't go bad. One of them already exploded. I forget which camera I'm supposed to look at. I don't think it's supposed to look that sticky. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know. <laughs> I f***ed up. I think this peach is done. This looks like garbage. We didn't hit the record button. This kind of looks like a hot f mess. I f***ed up. F this is a disaster. So we're going to try again. First step. Get your shit together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to separate two eggs. So we're gonna have two egg yolks and then two egg whites. <coughs> That's disgusting. The next thing we're going to do, this is one tablespoon of milk and also half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I used oat milk. I assume it's fine if you use a vegan milk. I am, so hey, whatever. I personally think drinking cow's milk is disgusting. So not really, it's pretty good. Oh, and then we're just gonna whisk that together. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to sift the flour mixture into the egg yolk mixture. This is uh, 33 grams of flour and then half a teaspoon of baking powder. Cooking without music is fucking stupid. You just wanna mix that together, make sure there are no lumps. It just makes so much noise. It's still like a little bit too sticky and too floury, but I also did lose a little bit of milk during preparation. Oh, no. So I'm probably just gonna add another dash. Boop. Okay, that's looking a lot better. So next is the fun part. We're going to whip together the egg whites to make like a meringue. With the egg white mixture, I'm actually going to add in um, half a teaspoon of vinegar, that's totally optional. It helps stabilize the egg whites so you don't over whip them. So if you're a beginner, I would recommend doing that. Now to get out me mixer. Can I do accents? Oh, how do I? I had this trouble last time. I can't. I think I need help. I'm gonna try and reverse them, which that shouldn't matter. Oh, uh, okay. So it is like a, like headphones where it's like right, left. Okay. So we're going to whip the egg whites until they are stiff peaks. So I guess what that means is when you go to lift it up, it makes like a peak that doesn't droop and fall it's stiff, you know, like a, like a mountain peak. And also, we're going to slowly add in the sugar while we do this. I'm getting it all over myself. Okay, so according to the recipe, I'm supposed to start adding the sugar when it starts to get fluffy. It's looking fluffy to me, so. I don't know if that's stiff peaks. Okay, so I think, I think that's a stiff peak. I... Bada bang, bada boom. So we're going to take our egg yolk and um, flour mixture, and we're just gonna kind of prep it for them to come together and be friends and do a little dance make a little love. So we're just gonna put in a little bit of the egg white mixture and then mix that together very well. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
And then we're gonna fold in the egg white mixture. Next is the fun part. I'm gonna turn on my little uh, induction thing. What am I doing? So I'm gonna preheat that. A little bit of oil. I'm using avocado oil. I don't know if it depends on what kind of oil you use. I'd say probably just don't use olive oil because this tastes like fucking olive oil. I've seen a lot of people when they make the Japanese souffle pancakes, they're just like plopping the pancake batter in there. But I have seen better looking pancakes from people who actually pipe them in there. I don't have a piping bag, but I do have a cool ass piping bag trick that I'm gonna show you. All you need is a tall, like shallow cup and a Ziploc bag. I have a cool ass, uh, where were you, solar eclipse on August 21st, 2017. Well, where were you? You're gonna get a Ziploc bag. You're going to cut a hole on the corner and then you're gonna stuff it in the cup. Stuff it real hard, real hard in the cup. Just get your fist in there. Okay, and that's what it looks like. So this is gonna be the piping bag for the pancake. Okay, so I have filled up um, my Ziploc bag slash pastry bag. It's already starting to leak out just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting it in. Where's my pan lid? <laughs> you wanna cover these? I'm using an induction thing. So when I tried it last time, the timing was way off. I'm gonna try like four minutes. So be back, four minutes. My timer uh, stopped, but it didn't make a sound. Cool, 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 cool. So they're not ready at all, but something that we do need to do is put in um, a little bit of water to help them, I guess, steam. So I'm just gonna do like a tablespoon of water I'm thinking that my pan's not hot enough. So I turned up the temperature. In the meantime, something that I really want to go along with these pancakes, I really want some caramelized peaches. I have no idea how to caramelize peaches, but it sounds amazing and it looks amazing. And I found some dank peaches. They smell so fucking good. I wish you guys could smell these peaches. Holy moly. They're beautiful. I added extra batter, which I was supposed to do a while ago. So, and now I'm just gonna see if they're stuck. Oh, wow! That's not bad. And that browning, that's a good browning. So now to flip the other ones is gonna be a doozy, mate. My hands are sticky. The pancakes are still cooking. In the meantime, I'm just gonna cut up these peaches. I have a paper cut and some peach juice got in it. You can't move these pancakes without f***ing them up. Don't use avocado oil if you don't want your shit to stick. I'm gonna put a little bit more water in there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, everybody shut the f*** up. And I'm gonna plate these like a f***ing pro. And then hopefully they're still warm by the time I make these peaches. I also have some whipped cream that's gonna go on top and powdered sugar and butter. Okay guys, I think they're done. I don't know. This is when I would typically ask my sister for advice. I would typically be like, hey Rach, is this done? And she'd be like, mm, I think I think they're done. So look at these brown babies. God damn, they look good. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Let's see what the other side looks like. Mm. Okay, those aren't done. I think this one is. Rat cocaine. 
I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. I'm going to put a little bit more water in there, I guess. That fucking hurts. All right. I'm just going to turn it off and wing it. I think they're actually done though. Bam. Those are some Japanese souffle pancakes. Uh. And I think for a second attempt, it wasn't that bad. These definitely take practice for sure. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to fucking eat them, dude. But I really want to have caramelized peaches with these pancakes. So I'm gonna do that first and then plate it all up and then fucking chow down. So now we're going to begin um, caramelizing peaches. We gotta heat our motherfucking pan. I have no idea what it's supposed to be set to, so. So the directions just say just heat. Heat the sugar in the pan to start the caramel. It doesn't say high, low, whatever. I feel like there's supposed to be water with this. It just says sugar though. So here we go. Oh, it's doing it. It's like becoming a liquidy. Ooh, mm, it smells good. <laughs> We're supposed to place the peaches and then give them a little shaky shake. I'm gonna lower the temperature. I think I should already add the butter because it says when the sugar starts to disappear, just add the butter. And it's already doing that. I think this is happening faster than it's supposed to. Wow, there's just like, there's a glob of fucking uh, sugar. Oh my God. I forgot that I'm supposed to add a little bit of finely chopped basil. I think my basil's outside. Ooh, this basil smells so good. I guess just two is fine. Then I guess the way to cut basil is like you just roll them up. There's just a clump of sugar in here. I don't understand what to do with it. Are you not gonna melt? I'm trying to smear it into the pan. Uh, see, yeah, I don't even, I don't understand. Ow, f That's caramelized sugar. That just f***ing stabbed me. So I think these are done. They're looking, they're looking pretty, pretty f***ing tight. And they smell amazing holy wow we pal all right so i'm gonna bring back my pancakes the butter has already melted on a couple of them and now we're going to start plating i'm so excited a peach nope i want it sideways <laughs> that's hot and then some of this sauce i don't know that's what gordon ramsay says to do and and last but not least, fucking whipped cream. I already made some earlier. But I'm just gonna s'more basil. Well, I'll put that more so over the peaches and not the pancakes. So I'm gonna take that off. Goodbye. That's hot. Oh, that's good. All right. I'm gonna try this. The peaches are pretty mushy, but I don't give a f This doesn't need maple syrup. You don't need a lot because these pancakes are spongy and they'll soak that shit right up. Also use maple syrup, not table syrup. Okay, just, what? I 
I can't. These are fucking delicious. I prefer them to traditional pancakes, straight up. I'm probably not even gonna have traditional pancakes anymore for the rest of my entire life. And they're not even that hard to make, you know, like in the video it might seem like a lot, but once you do it like once, twice, it's really not that much. Um, it's dope. You should give it a try. Thanks for watching. And, um, uh,